support safe bike riding in their neighborhood. Um, already the efforts of these organizations are paying off. Um, we, we're standing or we're next to a bike lane that will soon be the nation's longest. And just across the street and throughout the East Village and Lower East Side, you can see the latest innovation in bike parking, which are on-street bike corrals. And then obviously with bike share coming next year, these neighborhoods are right at the heart of a world-class bike network. So we're really excited to, to launch this district. And we are very lucky to have Congresswoman Lydia Velasquez here today. It's a real honor. Um, Congresswoman Velasquez is a ranking member of the House Committee on Small Business and is a stalwart champion of safer streets, and particularly small business, affordable housing. She's really a, a tremendous leader. And transportation of them. And of course, she's a <laughs> All right. Um, so thank you so much for being here. Thank I'll, you. I'll the stage thank you. you, Miller, for uh, your advocacy, and thank you all for creating this type of synergy at a time when the economy continues to struggle. You know, it's amazing the ingenuity of our people, and this is a way where we can entice uh, bikers to come and the business community to offer um, what they offer at cheaper prices so that we could all win. And let me just say that this will connect part of my district in the Lower East Side, but in Brooklyn, in the Brooklyn uh, uh, Bridge, when people were advocating for a bikeway, not too many people in the city administration was listening and I secured the first 20 million dollars that helped create the Greenway in Brooklyn. So I would invite you to come do this route but also go through the Brooklyn Bridge and look at that beautiful bridge that we have created for entire families to enjoy. Let me just say that group, um, transportation alternatives have done a, an incredible job. Uh, it's not only to create uh, transportation alternatives for cities like New York City, but also to help uh, entire families connect with the waterfront here in Brooklyn and other parts. And it's a way uh, to help our environment. Not only to help our environment, but to help uh, one of the biggest issues that we're uh, facing in our nation, and that is child obesity. So uh, it's it, it just wonderful to see all this happening, and I congratulate you, and I invite for this, that is a model, uh, to continue to be implemented in other parts of New York City and in the nation. So congratulations. Thanks. It's a great idea. on my back, bike, but I came back last night from D.C. I didn't know that I had a flat tire. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'd just like to thank a couple of other people as well, some of whom are here today. Um, Community Board 3, Susan Stetzer, G.G. Liu, and David Crane, who's generous enough to, to lend some of his time today, um, who've really been huge advocates for safer streets and better bicycling infrastructure. 